there are four key areas we should emphasize in an energy conservation program. They are pacing, body position, joint protection, and activity planning. It's a common sense approach that's very helpful, but it's not usually intuitive. Learning the benefits of each area, even if only one or two ideas present themselves, can make a difference in day-to-day -day activities. The pacing unit emphasizes the importance of rest and recovery. Planning a one-hour rest period each day is helpful in maintaining an energy equilibrium, even if the person doesn't feel like they need rest. It's also helpful to plan frequent 10 to 15 minute rest breaks throughout the day. Body position focuses on learning how to use body position to extend activities. Poor body position, such as suboptimal posture, slouching, can waste energy. It takes 25% more energy uh, to stand than to sit. So in trying to maximize energy, if an activity can be done seated, it becomes more efficient and provides the patient with more energy for activities that they want to do. Sitting in the shower is a huge energy saver and it's so easy to do with the proper equipment. So if energy expenditure can be minimized during routine chores and self-care, it frees up more activity for other activities. Joint protection emphasizes the importance of proper lifting, pushing and pulling, these techniques that help economize movement and energy requirements while at the same time minimizing the potential for muscle strain and injury. Employing efficient body mechanics not only saves energy but potentially prevents injury.